acting as agents for social justice to address the teacher diversity gap issue in our current educational landscape. My community, my commitment. My Community, My Commitment is an initiative that branched off from the My Classroom to My Colleague MC Square collaboration between CCNE and HFT. The Connecticut Center for a New Economy, CCNE, promotes racial justice and immigrants' rights, advocates for workers seeking employment, the right to bargain collectively for better wages, and a voice on the job, supports public education and job training, and works to expand access to health care and affordable housing. Michelle Alexander shared two ideas that is aligned with our efforts. One is that we have to stop and talk about the racial dynamics that have created the conditions where we live and work. Racial disparities have causes and therefore have solutions. Two, that we have to seek to be conscious rather than unconscious about race, that the term colorblind causes more harm than good. Here we have a comparison of household net worth, which means everything you have, like a table or a car or a house, minus everything you owe, like student loans or mortgage. The median household is the middle household, so half of the households have more than that amount and half have less. Here is the unemployment gap between whites and people of color at the country level. Blacks and African-Americans are represented by blue, Hispanics are represented by green, and whites are represented by red. Just the visual should be compelling. And take a look at unemployment at the local level in Hartford. Chronic unemployment in Hartford, shown in the previous section, has created the highest poverty level in Connecticut. Poverty in Hartford is three times higher than the level for the whole state. And if you look at the gold bars, you can see that children in Hartford and throughout Connecticut are more likely to live in poverty than the population as a whole. Nearly half of Hartford children live in poverty. Now take a look at the poverty guidelines for the persons and family households. Here is a list of all 39 of Hartford's census tracts in order by the percentage of children living in households with incomes below the federal poverty line. So for example, in one section of Frog Hollow, almost 72% of the children live in poverty. Here is the map of Hartford divided into the 39 census tracts, the red lines, with the percentage of children living below the federal poverty level scribbled in each census tract, which is the blue handwritten numbers. So what does it take for a family of three to actually get by in Hartford? We know they can't get by on 19,790 which is the poverty line to receive assistance. The Permanent Commission on the Status of Women has studied what it costs for families to cover their basic needs. We can look, just as an example, at the monthly expenses for a parent with two children living in Hartford. This budget does not include extras such as entertainment, vacation, takeout food, pets, 
or even paying student loans. It takes a parent and two children $60,588 a year just to make ends meet. The poverty line to receive assistance is 20160 for that household number. Unemployment, income, and poverty are all connected and is impacted by education. Who we put in front of our children matters. While the Hartford School District leads other districts with 21%, according to the State of Education Department at Sites Database, there has been a decline in educators of color for 13 consecutive years. So what are we doing to retain the few Black and Latino teachers we already have during this educator of color crisis? This slide illustrates the increase in white teachers, represented by blue, in conjunction with the steady decline in Black and Latino teachers, represented by the red and green. Hartford is not unusual. Here are counts from nine major cities where there are many more Black and Latino students than teachers. This is just three columns from the previous slide pulled out so that they are easier to see. And here's just one more way to look at it. And how does this data speak to you? What is your truth? 